Buddy Mission Bond, the new IP for the Nintendo Switch developed by Koei Tecmo and published by Nintendo, has a demo available on the Japanese eShop right now that you can try out. Now, as things stand right now, there is absolutely no English whatsoever in this demo or just in the game whatsoever. So if you don't speak or read Japanese, you might have some issues. But don't worry, we're here to help you at least get started off on the right foot. Danny from the Famicast here. If you're new to the channel, please be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications today. We're going to give you some tips on how to get through the Buddy Mission Bond demo or the early parts of the game with these gameplay tips. Now, I'll reiterate, Buddy Mission Bond has no English whatsoever as of the time of this recording. So if you're not familiar with Japanese, you're likely going to have a pretty tough time with this game or the demo. Now, this video is meant to help you get through some of the gameplay portions of the game or the demo. This is not a complete step-by-step -step guide or translation by any means, but it should get you at least started in the right direction so you can have some kind of fun experience with the game. Now, throughout the game, and also given the adventure genre tag, Buddy Mission Bond contains a lot of dialogue, most of which is actually fully voiced here. Now, from time to time, you will have different dialogue choices to make. These can have an effect on something that's called the hero gauge that you'll see in the top right-hand side of the screen. So, for example, early on in episode zero, the main character, Luke, is given a handful of information via a police briefing. And after he kind of like spaces out for a minute, the speaker drills Luke to see if he's been paying attention at all. Now, if you if you choose correctly here, you'll get a boost on that gauge. Now, this isn't the case with every dialogue choice, but it will behoove you to pay attention to the highlighted red text and remember what has been said in conversation so you can net yourself a better score at the end of the mission. Now, there are times we can, when you can also press the R button to bring up past conversations to help point you in the right direction if you're forgetful like me. Now, there will be times when you have to analyze a picture or, or some kind of an image for clues in Buddy Mission Bond. Now, these images contain at least two or more items that you can select that will help you progress in the game. You can do this by moving around a cursor and then pressing A on the targeted items. Now, once you're finished, all you need to do is simply press B. The game also does a little bit more to help you out here too. So if you didn't find all the relevant clues, the game will prompt you to look a little bit harder before just being able to exit out of the mode. At that point, all you need to do, like let's say you find the things that you need to find, all you need to do is press B to close it. Now just taking a look at one of the first of one of these in the game, all you'll need to do here is find these two items, which you can see, and also in a nice touch, these items are actually highlighted once you actually hover the cursor over them so to, as to avoid any kind of confusion. And then yeah, once those are selected, you check out the information, obviously, and then you press B, and then you'll continue on with the story. Occasionally, you will have to be on point to make button presses in the game to perform some kind of actions or like quick time event type of things. Now these range from attacking thugs, shooting people, to running down some criminals. The timing here is pretty forgiving too, so even if you're not fully paying attention, you'll probably be able to make it past these segments. Now the map serves as like a passage way to finding out valuable information to enable you to progress in missions. Each map has a variety of different locations that you'll need to visit to find out more about your investigations. Now talking to the workers or just others that are happen to be milling around these locations will net you some valuable clues that you'll need to successfully make it to your goal which is usually some kind of a location or something like that. Now you are limited to how many moves you can make on the map. Now with just one character, you can only make three moves. However, with two characters, you'll be able to make up to six moves, even sometimes with more than one round on these moves for like a total of 12. So that's pretty cool. Now while traveling the map and talking to people, you'll get information that will help you set up your plan for completing the mission. You have a list of goals for each of these choices that get ticked off every time you gather info. Now in the first mission, you'll need to formulate a plan to get into a building to rescue this kidnapped girl. Now there are two paths that can be taken. Now, one that's pretty direct but requires like a key and some other things, and the other that has you go straight in but also gives you an option of like shutting off the power to give you the element of surprise. The game's pretty free in the fact that you can choose which locations you want to check out on the map, each of which will move you toward one or the other when it comes to like available paths. So uh, it's pretty free in that aspect, so you can kind of do as you like. Now being called Buddy Mission as part of the title, part of the draw of this game is to choose which character or buddy you want to take on the task at hand. Now this is used quite a bit while investigating areas on the map. In the early part of the game, for example, you'll need to choose between Luke or Aaron. Now some situations here will call for like a more level-headed way of decision making, so in these cases, you would choose Luke. Other times you'll need someone who is a bit more crass, or someone to knock some heads in. Now in that case, the meathead Aaron will work perfectly here. There doesn't seem to be much of a penalty for choosing wrong, 
but it does also affect your hero gauge here too, so be sure to choose wisely. At some points in the missions, you will be given direct control over one of the characters. Now, the environments themselves here are a bit on the small side, but there are various points that can be interacted with, and sometimes enemies that will need to be taken out in order to progress. Exploration is encouraged here to some extent, and these interactive elements are clearly highlighted to make things easier for the player. If you find yourself hitting a wall figuratively here, be sure to do a little bit more exploring and then you'll be able to move on. To fully enjoy Buddy Mission Bond, I think having some kind of base knowledge of the Japanese language is necessary here. While I don't want to recommend this game or even the demo for, to those of you out there that don't read or speak Japanese, hopefully these tips can at least get you making some progress in the demo or the full version of the game. But what do you think about all this? Are you enjoying the game if you've actually tried out the demo? Did this video inspire you to check out the demo on the eShop to give Buddy Mission Bond a try? Sign off in the comments below, we'd love to hear from you. As always, thanks for checking out this video. If you like what you see, please feel free to give this video a like. If you're new to the channel, please be sure to subscribe. We've got tons of podcasts, video reviews, some Japanese guides like this, and a whole lot more. Again, this is Danny from the Famicast. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you later.